There he is. Oh, that's a big one. That's a good fish. I'm out. Just keep driving backwards. That is a doggone stud of a fish. What's going on, y'all? We are out here today targeting some sheep's head around some bridge pilings, but got something a little bit special planned. I have a fake artificial crab, which is the cranker crab, as well as three dozen fiddler crabs. So what we're gonna be doing is comparing the two and seeing can I catch some sheep's head on an artificial lure and will it catch just as many sheep's head as the fiddler crab so y'all stay tuned we're gonna get out here see what happens all right so we are gonna start off throwing the fiddler crab got it rigged up right here i'll talk about the rig a little bit later on but basically i want to see are there fish here before i start throwing the cranker crab out so we'll see if we catch a couple of sheep's head on the fiddlers first he's on there we go that's our first fish and it is a sheep's head all right well that is let back off that is a keeper sheep's head on the fiddler crab fish number one all right calm down chill boom boom all right dude appreciate it probably about a 14 inch or not a big sheep's head but it would be a keeper right, i'm gonna show you all the setup that we have right here so we got our fiddler crabs and we're just hooking a fiddler crabs with a number two octopus hook right through the side right there a lot of people take the claws off i think you should leave the claw on it's just more action the sheep's head do not mind uh and then i have that paired up with 15 pound fluorocarbon leader. I have two number four split shot weights and I have 20 pound main line. The rod that I use when I sheep's head fish is a pin battle two. And simply put, like this is a beast of a rod that is perfect for fishing around bridges, fishing live bait, stuff like that. If it's getting beat up around the bridge pilings, it's not gonna break my heart. Um, it's just not a rod that, um, I care if I'm around here beating up around these pilings. So it's an awesome setup. This is what I use. We're we'll get back in here, see if we can pick up another one on the fiddler crab. I think if I can pick up three on the fiddler crabs in one area, I'm gonna swap over to the cranker crab and see if we can pick them up. He's on. He's on. Oh, that feels like a decent one. I think he's got me around a pile. Get off from the piling. Oh, reverse. He's on the piling. Dang it. I felt like a good fish. He's off the piling, still on it. I'm definitely going to have to change my leader out after this one. Come here, dude. Boom. That is sheep's head number two. Not as big as I thought. He was wrapped up around that piling. I know he frayed up my leader pretty good right there. Boom. Boom, boom. Sheep's head number two. Bye-bye. One more. One more to go on a fiddler crabs, and we're really going to see what the crank of crab has to offer. Here's the deal, though. I know through cuts and video editing, it looks like these might be coming pretty quickly. I would say there was at least 15 minutes between those two bites. So, you know, and they might be getting ready to fire up. I know there's sheep's head down there. Uh, so when we put the, the cranker crab out there, the time between bites is also gonna kind of tell us which is a better way to go. He's on, he's on. That was quick, not a big one. Ah, actually, that one might be the biggest of them. He didn't fight that much. Get off these pylons here. All right, that's going to be sheep's head number three. And that was the first drop down right after dropping, or right after catching the last one. Well, I will say that is 
three keeper sheep's head in about 20, 25 minutes. We are now gonna swap over to the cranky crab. All right, getting ready to put the cranky crab on now and throw it out. But before I do that, y'all, if you wanna see me do a video of maybe five or six different artificial crabs for sheep's head, get this video to 500 likes. If we get 500 likes on this video, I will go out with about five or six different crab imitation lures and show y'all which are the best ones for catching sheep's head. Without further ado, we'll drop in here, see if we can get them on a crank of crab. All right, so this is the crank of crab lure right here. I don't know if y'all have seen this lure before, but here's the deal. It has some really, really small treble hooks on the claws and the claws are made of foam so they're going to float the lure is made to be thrown out there set it on the bottom and then just ease it creep it along the bottom but your claws are going to be floating up off of the water has an amazing paint job on it i mean it looks exactly like a fiddler crab but these lures are pretty pricey i want to say i know they used to be like 20 25 dollars but now you can find them on amazon for around 12 to 15 and uh, if we lose the crab that's it we only have one and we have to run it on 10 pound test because it being an artificial lure and to give it its most lifelike presentation i don't want heavy line on there creating a drag on it so let's just pray we don't lose this lure he's on oh he hit it that was a bite okay here we go he's on oh that was another bite they might not be biting those claws they might be trying to bite at the body there are no hooks on the body at all they're only on the claws this looks like a real good lane right here but if a big one hits I'm in trouble he's on oh I missed him that was a sheep that was a dog on sheep's head I missed another one he's on we got a fish on it feels like a bait fish I don't know what it is oh my goodness all right well the first fish on a cranker crab is a croaker goodness gracious it is taking over an hour to get that fish on there we have been at it i'm not giving up on a cranker crab yet we've had several bites but no connections He's on. There we go. Okay. Oh, that's on the crab. I gotta get around this piling right here. 10 pound test, don't break me. Oh, that might be the biggest one of the day. This is a lighter setup, medium light rod. He's not that big, but he's manhandling this setup. Come here, dude. Oh, he ain't a bad one. All right, let's get you out and open. Well, it has been a long time since I've seen a fish. I've been throwing this crank of crab for over an hour. And this is our first fish. We've had several bites, but could not get one hooked. And bam, there it is, y'all. Y'all look at that beautiful sheep's head right there. Caught him with the crank of crab right in the corner of the mouth. It was... <laughs> A long time coming I am super thankful to have this fish to at least say that the cranker crab does catch sheep's head now I will say it has been very very slow out here today and that could uh that could have a lot to do with it I have used this cranker crab before uh, and I've had a lot of good success on it if y'all want to see that full video I will link that up above where you can see the cranker crab catching a ton of sheep's head and redfish uh, but yeah, beautiful, beautiful fish. Appreciate the bite, girl. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.
There he is. Oh, that's a big one. That's a good fish. Bit it as I was reeling in. Come here, dude. That might not be a sheep's head. Come on, don't get my lure. That is a big dog on fish, y'all. Please be recording. I'm recording. Mm -mm, don't go that way. Do not go that way. Don't go that way. Just drive them out. Just keep driving backwards. That is a doggone stud of a fish. Oh, come here. Dude, if that's a sheep's head, it's a freaking giant. It's pumping like a sheep head, but it's pulling like a redfish. Especially the way he came up and bit it as I was reeling in. What do we got? What do we got? Redfish. Well, that's something we didn't catch on a doggone fiddler crabs. Come here, dude. Mm. Medium light setup, 10 pound test, small hooks. This is sketchy. That's a doggone stud of a redfish, too. Come here. Uh, get back up. I mean, I'm completely shocked that he didn't pull me right off in that bridge structure. Normally, that's what they do. They charge right for it. I think I started driving backwards before he really knew he was hooked. All right, all right. Dude, this joker is so fat. Uh-oh, come here. He choked it. I mean, he choked it. We might not be able to get that crab back. We can get that hook out. Oh yeah, it's right there. He did choke it. There we go. If there was ever a time that I was supposed to lose that crab, that was it. Whew. What an insane, beautiful fish right there. Super light colors. Go ahead and get a good release on her. She's ready. Bye bye. So when I'm throwing this cranker crab out there, which that was a horrible cast, um, I'm just kind of twitching it, bumping it, and letting it sit for a while, just like a, a crab would. You know, it, a crab's not going to swim through the water real fast. Most of the time, they're kind of just drifting with the current if you've ever seen them in the water. Um, and so I feel like I just got whacked. If, if I did, he's not on there anymore. But just throwing it in here around the structure, letting it get down kind of low in the water column, if not on the bottom, giving it some light twitches, and then just reeling in my slack and really just slowly bumping that dude around. Sheep's head are not a fish, and I'm fouled up again. Dang it, that's the one really bad thing about this lure is how many times it just gets fouled up around your line. I mean, I, I'm not exaggerating when I say it's happened at least 20 times today. But yeah, just throwing it down there, just like that, and uh, kind of just waiting until my line falls all the way down. And then just giving it some light twitches. Alright, so conclusion on the crank crab. Couple of things. Uh, we did catch three fish, three different species. We caught a small croaker, we caught probably a 15 or 16 inch sheep's head, and then we caught about a 32 inch redfish. So a variety of fish there. Um, with that being said, it is a very couple of negatives on the lure um it is a very aggravating lure to throw i mean my hooks kept getting fouled up around my line which i mean you got small trebles right there the line's close to it i guess stuff like that's going to happen with a lure like that um i had 
a few bites you know i'd say at least five or six uh bites that i felt like were sheep's head that i just didn't connect on because they bit the body and not the claw and as you know sheep's head have small mouth so they just missed the hook on that um and then also the lure is pretty pricely i mean i, I want to say you can get them on amazon for about 12 or 15 dollars so that's kind of the deal we did have the fiddler crabs we got three dozen at i think four dollars a dozen so for twelve dollars i went out there uh and probably threw seven or eight fiddler crabs to catch those three uh that i caught and i caught all of those in about 20 minutes and i've been using the cranker crab for about three hours now and only pulled in those three fish so i just wanted to come to y'all and kind of do a comparison with that but like i said if we can get this video to 500 likes i'm going to pick several different uh crustacean lure imitations and i'm going to go out to a really good spot and see how many sheep's head we can catch on each of those lures so y'all get the video up to 500 likes yeah i appreciate y'all tuning in comment if you have any questions subscribe if you haven't already we'll see y'all next time